Hello and welcome. My name is Van. In today's, uh, let's change the, the tutorial word to sharing session. I'm going to share with you a tip on how to solve this kind of question. When we talk about uh, the difference between two shaded regions. Let's take a look at this question. The diagram below shows a square PQRS of size 20 cm with a triangle. R O S with O being the center of the square. It also shows two quadrants, P, R, S, and Q, S, R, with S and R as centers respectively. Find the difference in the area between the shaded, re shaded regions, X and Y. Use the pi value in calculator and give your answer correct to two decimal places. Well, the conventional way is always to take the the value of y minus the value of x in order to find a difference. But in this case, it's different because y, there's no way we can come up with formula to identify the area of this region, shaded region y, and neither do we have the information to derive this. Maybe yes, here. But when it comes to y, you may have a bit of a problem. Alright, so anyway, I'm not going through the long way of uh, whatever things, I just want to keep things simple and to tell you whatever concepts that you need to know and then link them out. As what I always emphasize, max math is not an isolated kind of topic. Rather, is an, it shows a lot of um, interconnected concepts. And in actual fact, this is not really a circle, circle kind of question. Why? Because you need another important concept knowledge in order to solve this question. If not, you will not be able to solve this question even though you know how to um, say calculate the area of the of the quadrant. But without another knowledge you will be forever stuck there and you will not be able to accomplish this uh, five four or five mark questions. I show you how simple it it is. In modern form, okay this is in order to find the uh, the difference between the value of X and Y, this is how it looks like in modern form. And what we are interested in, as why I say, is the difference okay, between these two. I'm not interested in the individual value of Y nor X. Do you see that? So, as why I say just now, trying to find the individual value for X and Y will only lead you to a dead end. So step back and think of another concept that you can use in order to find this difference between x and y. Thought about that? Okay, I'll show you that if, let's say, if I would put an equal amount to both x and y, that means in terms of shaded portion, let's say, I have this yellow portion here, they are equal, and added to this too. What you have noticed just now is that this part, the difference here, has anything been done? Has anything changed? No. So when an equal amount has been added or subtracted from both, in this case x and y, you realize the difference is always the same. So I'm asking you, <laughs> so what's next? And of course, I have a condition here. So the amount that you set is not anyhow, okay? So this amount, it must be some um, specific amount such that from here to here is some kind of definable shape here to here another definable shape or shape that you can recognize let's say okay I'm going to change the color to pen and then I'm going to change to yellow uh, where's yellow okay here oh, I'm getting old okay um if you see that if I were to shade this portion Oh, yellow. Oh. Do you see that? Okay. Okay, you make off now. Does X plus the shaded portion, yeah, the, the yellow shaded portion, give you a rectangle? Right. And likewise, this shaded yellow portion plus the shaded region Y. What does it give you? Yes, you may not give me a definite shape, but it's alright. 
because what you could see is that the shaded portion here plus y is actually and then plus this triangle is actually your quadrant so i can just say well this okay shaded yellow um, yellow shaded portion plus the y is actually the quadrant less right angle triangle do you see that so again i am able to define from here to here what shape that is it's actually a quadrant less the okay so let's get all shaded here so probably it will be easier for you to uh, see <laughs> so now it's all shaded i believe it is clearer so here to here okay the yellow plus x is actually your rectangle that is easy to recognize like what i said just now actually yellow plus region y is your quadrant less your right angle triangle do you see that because in this i can define a shape i can recognize or i can identify the shape if i can identify the shape i can input my formula and calculate all these values right so essentially that's it in order to find the shaded the difference between the shaded region x and y is essentially your quadrant minus your triangle and then take away the rectangle that's it easy so if you're not callous you should be able to proceed on your own to solve the rest of the question to get it five marks or even a four mark questions i don't know how, how many marks that this question is but usually this will be a four or five mark questions okay so you want to pause and work out the rest of the the, the, the working yourself where I will just flash the uh, the pieces of information out oh, here you may want to take note because O is the center of the square so it basically divides everything equally so you know how to find what is the area of rectangle 20 times oh, 10 and then the area of the quadrant the area of the right angle triangle and then ultimately answer the question as in the difference between shader region X and Y so this is what you get. You should be able to get um, 64.16 correct to two decimal places by keeping your pi to the very end and then uh, solve it. Okay, that's the end of this sharing session. <laughs> so I hope that um, you, you have benefited from all these videos that I have produced. If there are other questions that you want me to assist you in whatever way I could, probably you want to drop me an email. So that's it. Um, at the end of the day, I hope students or even parents will get to enjoy math because this is one of the subjects that you can actually score full marks for it if you're not careless, you know, that kind of thing. So enjoy and don't give yourself too much pressure because math is essentially something very simple and integral part of your lives. So learn to enjoy it. Okay, see you again. Goodbye.